Good morning and welcome back to Subsistence. Look at that beautiful firelight. Goodness me, the lighting is just gorgeous in this game sometimes. Okay, let's get a light on anyway so we can see the rest of the place. Um, right, I have been busy working and um, once day breaks I'll show you what I've been up to. Um, in the meantime, I have also been trying to build up my mass up to 140, uh, got a little bit over, and we're still working on our power. I want to upgrade the bow today, and I have a few items here, but to one side, so that we can upgrade this bow to a level 2. I really need to start using the bow and arrows more to take down the wolves for um, the biofuel that we're we, we're getting through at an, an alarming rate so um, yeah six weapon parts 12 pearls I had to spend a day in between episodes gathering some pearls from the big lake um, I did a huge double uh, lap of the whole lake in order to get enough um, cordage um, and sinew for rope is not a problem so I've made myself six rope and ingots um, managed to get a couple in a locked crate believe it or not so um, and then I just made um, two in-house with the materials that I got in the refinery so let's upgrade this to level two and the Sun is coming up Wow yeah, we needed so many materials to get done what I've got done and uh, I spent, oh, I think it was two game days um, gathering the materials that I needed to get everything done so I should have repaired that before I did that but still, that's okay. So, level two bow. Perfect. No difference obviously on the, uh, on the visual but We'll go and test that against a wolf. Oh god, look at that sun! Dirty lens though. <laughs> uh, okay, so let's have a look. Food-wise, we have a lot of liver. I think what I'll do, because we've got a little bit of power here, uh, is we'll grab um, liver and onions. Get that cooked. Sounds like we have a cougar outside. Um, I've got no lockpicks on me, and now we've got no mass to make one. Um, we've got a bit of iron. I managed to get um, a little bit of sandstone ore as well while I was uh, diving for the pearls, so that was useful. Let's just go and have a look at the garden. I have harvested this a couple of times, I think. Um, so we have a plant bed now of some cotton, which I got in one of the lock crates. Uh, potatoes, onions, tomato, carrots, more cotton, onions and tomatoes, and this one's a full bed of carrots, and they need watering. And feeding, we have absolutely no water in any of them, I think. There has been a little update, by the way, to the game, so whether that's got something to do with it. Um, a little hot fix, I think, for the experimental build. I need some more water. Check on the fire there. I think I've abandoned trying to um, fertilise the plant beds at the moment. I'm not being able to keep up. But here is my hard work that I've uh, done in between episodes. Now I know a lot of you love watching the building but honestly oh, there was an awful lot of just me running to a tree, chopping, running to the next tree picking up the odd bags so I could get nails um, and that was it it was just that over and over and over again so we've disturbed uh, the cougars um, traveling here I'm just wondering whether to take oh we don't need a cougar but anyway we've got this done so for this side um, I've gone for just the um, vertical walls and then the half walls just alternating them all along until I got to the rock and then I put in a doorway and a doorway does work very nicely 
for jumping up and getting into the base. Um, and I was experimenting with this curved platform here. Um, trying to think if I could sort of do something a bit clever in the corners or something or, or even here where there's a, a join where this um, corner juts out but it, it leaves a gap and it would have needed extra materials just to fill that in and it looked a bit odd so I put it here and I really like that I might put some plants out on here um, it looks really um, really cool it kind of finishes off that area gives you a good place to sort of stand back if needed to, because this is a, a kind of a um, a high point for the ground um, outside of the wall, so you know, being able to stand back isn't a bad thing. I really want to shoot him. Try out my bow. Um, yes, but this is the doorway, so I went with um, a half wall here half all the other side just because I thought it looked more substantial and uh, yeah we can get in and out very easily here just run straight in there's no jamming there's a little bit of jamming on the way out sometimes but mainly it's getting in that I'm concerned about uh, so that works really well and I've left this as railing and at the moment I've left that as railing we might eventually put the same kind of effect all the way around the base but I, I really love the view over here um, and I think very rarely will we have hunters come here to fight because this is very high up um, but I do love that view of the lake down there so that's what I've been up to um, we do need to head out and go and get some resources I need more bags um, more nails, all of that good stuff. Uh, let's eat. No, I'll hang on to that just for a second. Let me put it away for a moment. Let's go and fill the water up, which we can do now without worrying. I'm so glad that cougar didn't spawn in this compound. That would have been interesting. But I really love that, that corner piece there. I was thinking of trying to snap some stairs um, to the other side over there um, but it's so easy just to, to run up here and it's not a very big compound. Uh, the next thing we might do is extend this narrow walkway all the way around. It depends how the rocks play um, because I think that bit of rock there is higher than here so it might not look as good um, and I like having that that I can see down to the floor from here so maybe thinking about it now maybe we will leave this as it is because um, if a hunter is hunkered down against the rocks down here we can see them from this position so okay <clears throat> water let's get that on and how is our generator doing yep yeah, we need some fuel um, this is all of the nails that I have now. We have exhausted our stock and um, I did collect quite a few. We were quite lucky. Um, I got a lot of wood, made planks and we're doing better on cordage. I'm happier with the cordage for sure. So let's top that generator up and... What else? Um, I've got one spare ingot and I got some glass panels in a locked crate. So with the amount of um, glass fragments that we've got here and those glass panels there, we could think about putting in another glass wall somewhere because um, that ingot was, was really what was probably stopping us from making one of the, the full glass walls or even a glass floor. Um, so it only takes one and another two glass panels. So we could do something with that. Um, I have to have a think. Let's head upstairs. And I just want to top the water up on these plants and then get out and get doing some other things. Yeah, the, the fresh water once you've boiled it really does work a lot better. Let's go and top this up again. Whoops. 
Sometimes you can just drop down this hole and other times it insists that you use the ladder. It's a health and safety nightmare. Uh, am I over water? I am. Oh yeah, and I also upgraded the platform here. So we've got that all down as reinforced now. And I put another set of stairs in. Uh, like I said, I needed to here. Just for quick and easy access. And move the other one just to this side here. So I think that works out really nicely. Okay. So, water on. And let's run this back upstairs. And grab this as well. And then what was it? This one was the one that needed a little bit more. Yeah, topping it up with fresh water is definitely needed. Right, we'll leave that for now. I'm not going to bother with fertiliser. I want to build that back up again. I'm kind of leaving it in cycles now where I'll fertilise them all for a day or two, then leave them to their own devices for a day or two. And that seems to... Seems to speed things up a little bit. Okay, last thing I want to do before we leave the building again is to stop up the fires because we need these producing the ash. And then we'll head out and try this bow against a couple of walls on a nice flat area of ground as safely as we can. Um, so, uh, food, liver and onions. We'll need some more vegetable. Berry will do. We've got two waters on me. We've got uh, tomatoes, got a spare pickaxe. We need ore if we can. Um, that's off. More than enough power coming in. Let's get out. I've noticed on this um, experimental build, and I don't know if anybody else is seeing the same, but I'm getting a little bit of hitching every now and then. Um, especially around the compound here. Not so much out in the wild, but um, around a lot of structures with texture. Definitely noticed uh, a little bit of hanging and stuttering. Um, but, you know, this is the, the thing with experimental builds. There's already been a few updates for various reasons um, just in the last day or so. Um, Cold Games did state by the way that um, he's put a put a patch in for the issue of the profile stats not tracking certain activity so um, that was a bit of a bug. Uh, I had started to think that it might have been the fact that I was on experimental and it wasn't tracking all of the experimental activity but um seems there might have been another reason for that as well so that's good a very loud vehicle driving past our house don't know if you heard that on uh, the recording there so we've got no lockpick unfortunately um trying to think where we want to go today. I'd love to try this out on a wolf, but I want to do it in a controlled fashion. I am not the best up close with weapons. I don't mind the shotgun because that does a good deal of damage and I feel confident with that. Um, but I'm much better at range. Much, um, much happier working at range. Okay, well, we've got a wolf over there. That's a little bit close to the hunter camp, though. There's a, a bear over there. What I might do, just to make myself more comfortable here, is put the bow there and then I can just scroll backwards for the shotgun. Okay, let's... Uh, yeah, okay, we, we shot the tree. That tree was asking for it. It's okay. Oh, that wasn't too bad. Okay, first bow kill. Yep, that, that went okay. I'm happy with that. Um, let's go and grab our arrow. 
That was funny. That that actual noise of the um of the arrow hitting the tree was just perfectly timed as well. Oh my goodness! <laughs> Made me jump. I wasn't ready for him. Let's get this wolf then. He seems to be asking for trouble. No, <clears throat> this is a level three. This might be a different matter. No, that worked. That worked as well. Okay, that's good. That's going to be a lot cheaper, isn't it? Yeah, we've already got five fat from just a couple of arrows. That's awesome. We'll definitely be doing some more of that then moving forward. Just something I hadn't tried before. Let's go and wash hands. What have we got over there? We've got a deer. This is nice having this uh, just to go and wash up afterwards. Let's go and get some more walls. Save our shotgun shells because we're down to nine now. Um, oh, that is a moose, okay. Let's see. How much damage does one of these arrows do? Okay, it's took him down about halfway. Uh, well, more than halfway, down to 27 hit points from 80, was it, I think? I've got to be careful because I don't know if there are any rogues around here. Could be. We'll try and pick up that, that deer in a second, but there's a, a level one wolf here. Oh god. Okay. Oh goodness. See that's what I worry about. <laughs> that's what I worry about when I miss. But you can take a you can take a bit of a bite from these things now with the with the gear that we're rocking, so Oh jeez, okay. That's funny. It's just practice and confidence. There's my arrow at least. Let's get this uh, deer. Uh, what do we think? A little bit higher? Nice. Yep, happy with that. Okay, we are going to need um, some of the antlers, I guess. We're getting a lot of um, adhesive from crates. I thought I saw um, a vegetable over here when I was harvesting the... the wolf. I seem to spot it at the moment. Let's just do uh, a quick look around here. I need to get some wood. Oh, there's another one. Fibre. What did I see? I thought I saw like a carrot or something. Oh no, I'll spot it on editing when I check later. They're so obvious when you uh, when you look afterwards. Okay, let's get this. Sorry about my noisy space bar. I do love this keyboard. Bit of a shame it's raining. Now the worst thing about that um, last wolf kill was just the fact that he ran straight at me as well. So it should have been one of the easier kills to do and I still managed to um, mess it up so just shows you and it only takes something like that to happen and uh, you can get your yourself into some trouble but definitely gonna uh, try and avoid using the uh, shotgun as much when gathering this biofuel right let's get this. Can we get that, do we think? Hmm. Oh, yeah, we, we might we might be able to. Oh, 
No, um, yeah. Noisy space bar. Okay, we did it. That's good. Oh gosh, there's a, bo a bear. Wondering what the hell I'm doing. Let's go and wash. Oh wow, there's another deer here. Um, oh no. Heard me. That was quite far away, wasn't it? Well, I had a bit more room than that to play with. How many nails have we got? Ten, so we can build one thing. Let's do a little bit more wolf, cull uh, wolf culling, I think, before we head back in for the day. It is miserable out here. I hate running around in the rain. Let's drop all the meat off and see how our power is doing. I um, wonder if we can actually afford a, um, a lockpick. This definitely works quite nicely as a little entrance. I'm quite enjoying this. Let's get in. Okay, so put the meat away and we've got seven fats. That's perfect. Uh, we'll take a bit of a drink of water. I'll drop that wood in there. Um, drop, 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 drop. Okay, how are we doing? We've got 38. That's not too bad. And have that vegetable. And we've got a little bit of iron. Drop that away in there. We've got 27. And we can afford a lockpick. Let's make one. I don't think I'm going to find one today, but at least if we've got a lockpick on us and we come across one, we'll be able to grab it, so... How about that? Okay, let's just top, uh, top the fire up upstairs, if we've got enough wood on us. I hope we have. Yep, we do. Just for neatness sake, I'm going to drop that away in there. Awesome. wondering about making the sofa um, just for something I haven't made for a long time not that we need it or anything in the game but I'm right, gonna have a steak and we'll have a berry and grab the lockpick how many arrows we've got 12 so we should probably make a good batch of arrows when we get back Keep those trickling in. Now I have no idea where the rogues are at the moment. They could be over here. Haven't really looked overnight for a couple of nights uh, in between the last episode and this. I'm just seeing if that, that looks like potassium, doesn't it? I don't need any more potassium. Let's trip, sort of head down here and we'll see if the weather clears, because it's horrible running around in this uh, stormy weather. Okay, the lake looks clear, doesn't it? We could head down and try and look for a pearl, but I think I might be better off heading over here and looking for a lock crate maybe there's a wild boar this is strawberry let's grab that oh good grief let's head up here oh we've got a bear okay let's not head up there then um I'm going to grab the scrap and then just run. Always a bit careful down here because this is a lovely camping spot for rogues. Right, we've got a, a rabbit. Let's just check around. God, you really are kind of down in a, a hollow there when you emerge from that area. Makes it very difficult to check around you for threats. Okay, I can see a an onion. 
Carrot? Onion. Onion. Carrots have got the feathery tops, haven't they? Um, fibre. Okay, um... Oh, a deer. Um... Yeah, I took off half of his health. We could probably get him with another, another arrow. He stopped just over there. Let's see if he comes back this way a little bit. I'm not going to chase him down everywhere, but... We can get him without too much work. Nope, I scared him. A flighty. Let's have a look on the side of the hill here for a lock crate, maybe. And then we've got that place over there to check on the way back as well. Uh, oh, we've got a wolf. And something else up there that is probably another wolf. Uh, a bit of iron. Nope. You don't gather iron with a shotgun shell. Although, how fun would that be? We'll grab the copper while we're here. I, I just can't... I can't hear whether anything's creeping up on me and I'm sure something was. Okay, well this is this is awkward, but I'm gonna go for it. Oh, he moved. I think that's too high. That's okay. Let's head this way. I don't know if he's uh, on me. I think he is, but I can't hear him. Wonder how close he is. Oh, well, that's a surprise. Is that him over there? He really didn't follow me. How oh, interesting. Okay, well, we should be able to take him out very simply now. That's the way to do it, isn't it? I think get a bit of distance in between and even break, break um, LOS. I wonder if that is a thing in the in the mix-up of their pathing mechanic. If you uh, break their line of sight they stop chasing immediately. That'd be pretty cool. I see a berry over here. Okay, nothing. Let's look for a lock crate then up here. Oh, rogues over there. Glad I didn't go that way. I was thinking about it actually. Uh, I see um, a bit of iron on that rock. Can we grab that, I wonder? I think we should be able to. Uh, this pickaxe might break, just to warn you. I'm waiting. Yeah, there you go. Okay, awesome. Right, we need to go and wash our hands. It doesn't look like there's a... lot crate around here. It's very difficult to hear those little audio clues. Is that another bit of iron? I think it is, isn't it? Let's grab that. Well, I'm feeling a little bit happier about the thought of using... Is that a... No, just that dark patch again. Yeah, about the thought of using this... Um, bow. Oh, thank goodness. Okay, I wasn't sure exactly. At least when I edit this video, I can check the amounts that the 
bow takes off, and um, then I'll be uh, I'll be more confident moving forward. But it's just not knowing whether two will definitely take down a three, a level three wolf every time. So, but it appears it's safe to do that. So yeah, I'm going to be investing in a few arrows, and these are just the standard arrows, by the way. We haven't been down to the cave yet in order to get ourselves any crystal um, to make our premium arrows. We've got quite a few feathers, premium feathers, so uh, there's a bear up there and there's a bear down there. Actually that's a cougar up there. Just saw the HP value and thought it was a bear but it was a cougar. Alright, I'm going to grab this scrap. And let's head back in. Pretty decent uh, little jaunt out. Didn't get too much loot, um, no lock crate or anything, but we got to test out the bow. Yeah, let's get back inside and then we'll wash, we'll wash up. Okay, cool, we've got seven left. And a nice amount of fat. Um, I don't think we need that on. Let's go and have a look at what iron, uh, what um, ores that we're short of. Maybe we'll uh, switch over to zinc or something. Right, let's drop the fat in there. The food away in there. Um, we'll get the iron on and I think I will turn I will turn the refinery on we'll get the um, sandstone cooking away uh, we've got a decent amount at least now of copper yeah I think the mining drill will turn over to um, mine some zinc for us so we'll get that started probably in the morning now not really worth running that overnight when we're not generating any power uh, let's craft ourselves a couple of fuel bricks because we've kind of done a lot of the building now. Uh, so I feel a little bit happier with the amount of cordage we've got. I'll, I will make some. That'll be 20. Let's do 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. There we go. That's more than enough, should be, to keep us going. Let's stop the generator up. That's, it's still running should turn off anyway soon and we've still got 34 fat plus whatever's in the fire um still working on my stash of strawberries i don't know why but it's quite satisfying having that in there let's have um, um just a steak will do i think today and we will have a tomato and a berry And we'll need some water as well. Let's get that topped up. Sorry about how dark it is. Let's get a light on. Let's put that one on as well because it really does help with the illumination. There we go. So um, I'll switch that over to zinc, but I'm not going to start it yet. We'll just leave that on for the moment. Off for the moment until... We've got the solar panels helping with the power. Yes, we could turn that off for a second. Right, uh, let's go and sort out the plants up here. So how are the fires doing? Do they need topping up? No, we're pretty good for those at the moment. I will put that water in there though. Let's water everything. Uh, and maybe a bit of fertiliser on the important crops right okay let's pick our cotton that's awesome having this amount of cotton it's taken a good long time and the other things are not quite ready so i'll drop a bit of fertilizer in there one water should do yep and we'll water that one that's just a bit more cotton and then we've got the carrots here they can just be watered, I think, for now. No need to do anything else with them. Nice. And another seed. That's always good. 
Let's see. What do I want to plant next time? I think I want to do a bed of potatoes by the looks of it. I'll put that to one side and then we'll do cotton and onion in this bed. There we go. That's awesome. Right, let's have a look at this place then. Where, where should we put another glass window? I don't want one there, purely because I've got the fire here. Um, and this area is really close to where the hunters might stand and shoot grenade-tipped arrows. So I, I think this area is likely to get damaged a little bit more than this will. Um, but we could do something here. Maybe two. Uh, a glass window there, a glass window there to match what we've got this side. We could even put a glass doorway here and make a balcony out out onto here. That would be interesting. Yeah. Um, let me just move this wall just for a second. Um, yeah, that will do. Let's have a, have a look. Um, I'd better get just looking down at the keyboard so I can see. Yeah, we could put a we could put a balcony here because that's overhanging rock. So that's not like we're um, able to see down to the ground from here anyway. So that would be a perfect spot, I think. Yeah, maybe a, a glass doorway there, replacing that window. And then we'll see once we get out there just how far across we might want to go. Maybe we'll just do um, a balcony piece here and here to mirror what we've got this side, but put the doorway in this position away from the bed and have a full plain window there. That might look, that might look quite good actually. Uh, and we can repurpose the, the window that we've got here um, for down... Um, down here we could put in uh, a nice sort of corner piece maybe with a window to give us that little bit of prote uh, protection and then start coming across with the uh, crenellations um, for the rest of it like we have here. Yeah that could work. Let's go and see if we can get that, that glass panel made. That would be really nice to be able to do something like that today. So let's grab our glass fragments because we are going to need two more glass panels. And we'll put those back in there. That's awesome. Let's top the water up. Looks like daylight is upon us. Uh, I will put this light on just because I know sometimes it comes across a little bit darker on YouTube it's it's always hard to tell what it's gonna do when it processes the video uh, let's drop those things away we will need you and let's see a couple of glass uh, one more and two scrap okay grab you grab those let's make the wall first I think and then I want to make that wood ceiling so three seven and one uh, seven and three and one that will be that and we want another one as well um yep let's keep those on us that's fine. And then what else? Where are you? There you are. Uh, that'll be the three. Then we need another seven. Sorry. God, blimey. And one. And then I do want to make some more arrows because we're going to definitely start using those a bit more. Let's do that much. Okay, let's turn you off. And yeah, we've got a bit of uh, moving things around now. 
Now, how much more? Let's see. I wonder if we can do everything today. I'm not sure we can, but we'll need another six glass panels. How much have we got? I think that's going to leave us really short. One, two, three, four, five. And we'll need one more piece of glass. And we can. We can do it. So let's leave that running. Um, we are going to need an ingot, which I think is that and that. One ingot. drop that back in there. Two and two. Nice. Okay, let's turn you off. How are the fires doing? They're doing okay. Um, let's uh, 31 biofuel. My goodness, that's the most we've had for ages. That's awesome. Could be running another generator now. It's getting to that point where I think I might need one all of the building. Right, we can do our next glass panel. Okay, so all of that now is for repairs. I can't touch that and we definitely need to get down into the lake and get some more sandstone for sure. All right, let's start moving things around. Let's turn you off and first of all we'll just grab this and we can just place it. It doesn't really matter. Um, let's see, we'll put it down there. Let's see if we can get it to snap. And let's grab the window as well. This is so good that you can actually move all of these things. Makes building so much fun in this game. Okay, let's get... I need one of those. Let's get that on our hotbar. And without falling off. <laughs> which, you know, is entirely possible. Oh, so I'll put this next piece in. And then we can we can just uh, put the, the glass pane, the uh, actual glass window in. No problem. In this spot. This is going to look so good. It's going to have so much light in here. Oh, that's amazing. I definitely want to make that door. Um, I'm going to need another four glass panels. That's the only problem. One more ingot. Again, it's just going to leave us shorter materials, really. Let's head down here and sort this out then. So I'm thinking of moving this. Um, making this edge here. We can really reuse that there. And let's grab this. And put it in the corner. Let's see. I'll move it. I'll move it and move it again. Um, haha. Yeah, hang on a second. Let's jump. Can I jump onto the railing? Can't jump onto a railing. There we go. It's needed to be in the right spot. Okay, let's put that there. Is that the right way around? I think it is. And let's bring the window over. I love the way these things float in the air. Now this is the only problem, is will this reach? Because if not, I'll have to bring... We'll have to bring the wall back over there. Might go out of range here. Oh, we got away with it. That's awesome. So just in case we do get anybody down there. We've got a window. And we could always reuse that in the house again uh, at a later date if we need to. But yeah, I want to get working on these uh, these now. And then eventually all the way around the inside as well, we'll have these railings. It's going to look really good. Um, let's see. So yeah, that looks really nice. It's a shame we can't have a ladder hatch with a glass roof around it. 
because I would put a glass piece here and a glass piece here <laughs> with our ladder hatching. Okay, let's go and see how the um, the crafting of the rest of the... What else are we making? Some more of that and that. And we should be able to make our doorway now. wonder if we've got enough to make the railings for outside. Let's see. Doing a bit of crafting I wasn't expecting to do today. Um, railings. So I'm going to want two. So that'll be the four. And then I'm going to want two end pieces. So another two of those. One, two. And then what else was it? I didn't look. Um, another four of these. One, two, three, four. Okay, that looks good to me. I think I've got that right. And that might leave us enough nails. We'll see. Um, okay, so I've got our doorway. Let's go and sort that out. Now, before we move this, let's have a look down here. Is there another place I want to put another window in? Um... There's no point in putting one here because it's at the bottom of the stairs. I mean, we could put one here, but I am worried about get that getting damaged by um, grenade-tipped arrows. And the, the hunters are going to stand here and fire grenade-tipped arrows or throw grenades at me. Definitely. So that's the thing. Um, kind of like this as it is because this is just a nice safe place to run in I think maybe we'll need to use that window on this side so what I might do I might put it next to this one for now. It does seem a shame to sort of block it all in, but... We could do a wall of... Yeah, I'll just bring it down for now. We're going to need to put it in some location. Just to get it out of the way so that we can carry on building. Uh, but let's do the same trick. We'll push it down there and snap it to the foundation. And do the same with the window. It's not like we need another building anyway. If we could put things in back in our inventory, I would use some of these materials to make myself a little hut somewhere. Um, but that's okay. Right, awesome. So, railings, railings, small railings, and small railings. That's looking good to me. I don't want to go out there until I've got at least one set of railings on me. Okay, push those away. We'll place them from in here, why not? There's one. Stand with your back against the glass. This is this is nice. That's a lovely view. You can see the hunters very clearly. Okay, let's bring the uh, railings in here. We could even go a little bit further out. But I won't do that now. We can we can always move these things. For sure. That looks so good. And it's over overhanging rock, so it's not like we're losing any visibility. There's a carrot down there. There's a crate over there that might have nails in. I might need to go and grab that. Okay. Now the balcony is done. So good. I need it. I need a door and I need it upgraded to metal, but it is done. Gosh, 
gosh. This looks so nice now. I'm really loving this. I wonder if I can get any further back into the corner of the room here. Um, I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to take the hood off again. And uh, let's just grab a, a picture. There we go. That will do. Nice. Well, a bit of unexpected building. And progress on the walls of the castle, which is, is very clearly now becoming. I'm quite happy with that. I might... you'll have to let me know what you think in the comments, but um, I've got obviously another window wall and another window. Would it look good with that in that corner? I'm very tempted to try it, but the problem is I am worried that that one in this, in that position, would get damaged by the hunters. Um, I'll show you why I think that. So if you have a look at how high the ground is here. I mean, we are really level. And we know the hunters love to stand behind this tree and this tree. And I think this, this would just get destroyed, a window in this position. It might be nice having a window looking up there, though. Yeah, let me know in the comments and um, we'll see if there's a, a sort of a consensus and I'll give it some thought in between episodes as well. Um, but this has been fun today, so thank you so much for joining me. Until next time, take care and I'll see you again soon. Bye for now.